And it's Barbara? Okay. Barbara, a few minutes um, thinking about the, the, the self-carriage that's required at this level that you're aiming for. Yeah? Um, simply looking at the contact. He, he tricks you most of the time into accepting too much contact. Yeah? A horse should go into the hand, there's no doubt. He should look for the contact, but you simply accept a little bit too much. Yeah? But what can we do about it? And you know, the, the perfect answer is, well, half halts. Yeah? But what do we really expect from a half halt? Yeah? And what, I, what I'm looking for is, I like to do it sometimes obvious enough yeah, especially when my horse is in front of the leg, I send him a little forward and then I ride a real obvious transition within the gate. Yeah? And I bring my horse back and what I'm looking for after I brought my horse back or after I give a half or that I can clearly and very obviously release. You follow me? And the, the idea of giving yeah, is, is such an important issue at, at, in the sport. You know, I, I don't like the idea of just releasing for no reason. Do you follow me? I always want to create a certain situation. I want to create a certain reason to let go of the rein. And letting go doesn't mean that the horse all of a sudden changes the frame and it falls way on the forehand or let's say we are establishing a little bit bend to the inside. When I release the inner rein, the horse should not straighten the neck immediately. Do you follow me? So all of those things, when we create the proper situation and the proper reason to let go of the rain and the proper moment to let go of the rain, we really establish the understanding of a half heart. Yeah? So let's do this a moment. Let's pick up the trot and um, let's keep him nicely uphill and show me a couple transitions within the gate. Yeah? Let's go a few steps forward, first forward. I like the idea that you can collect him there. Yeah, you can tell right now he's just accepting, you're accepting too much contact, he's a little bit low in front. Let's make a difference. Let's change things. Yeah, let's go forward, right? A little lengthening and then show me with a little bit of a tap with the whip, a quick transition back to the collected truck. Tap, tap. And I couldn't see any giving. I like the reaction from the hind leg. Yeah, and I, I really appreciate that you taught him to react properly to the whip, but I did not see a change in the contact. Yeah, I still felt afterwards he had a little bit of a downhill tendency and I could not see enough an, of an obvious release from your hands. Yeah, let's do it again, send him nicely forward, forward again, uphill, and now a little tap with the whip and bring him back and give him. I could not see him. I could not see a release of the rain. Yeah? I like the timing of your half halt, that's very good. He is reacting exactly the way you asked him to, but I could not see the releasing of the rain. A yeah? little bit better, and I, I saw you being effective there. Let's do it again, and let's make it even more obvious. Send him forward, and now give him a little tap. Bring him up, tap, tap, and hands forward. Not enough. A little bit better, but I could not see the true releasing of the bit, I could not see his, him really releasing and carrying himself. So, and now, and tap him again, uphill, bring him back, one, two, hands forward, better. And walk a second. Yeah, much better. Again, what I said already in the beginning, it all depends on our standards, yeah? When we give a half halt and we still accept afterwards that our horse is leaning on us and the horse is using his muscles to work against us. Yeah? It's not increasing the self-carriage. Yeah? What we don't want is that his neck gets smaller and your arms get bigger. Yeah? <laughs> That's what we don't want. And therefore, be effective. Every single half hold that you give needs to have a reason and it needs to have a result. You follow me? There needs to be a clear understanding that he needs to use his own muscles to carry himself. A horse has two, has two choices. It can use his muscles to carry himself or it can use his muscles to work against you. You follow me? It's that simple. Even a young horse, yeah? When we're not asking for the proper suppleness and the proper self-carriage, they develop muscles to work against the rider. And we see the underneck and we see, not, definitely not in his case, but we see 
too many ways where the horse adjusts in the wrong way. Yeah? Horses are extreme creatures of habits, and if they learn to use their muscles to carry themselves and work with us, we're in good shape. Yeah? And don't accept too much contact. When you, uh, you saw that a couple times when he became a little lighter and you tapped him with the whip, you still have it, enough engagement behind. Yeah? I personally don't have an issue with the horse when a horse gets a little bit lighter. If the hind legs are working, yeah, and the horse goes softly, very consistently into the hand, the lighter contact is something that, that I look for. Yeah? The contact, of course, the horse needs to listen to the leg. Yeah? But it's so extremely important, especially with the double bridle, that the horse is comfortable with the bit. Yeah? And you will see, you, here and there, you can tell, he is sometimes a tiny bit difficult with the tongue. Yeah? And the more you accept that he is a little bit heavy in your hands, this will not change. Give him a reason to chew the bit. Yeah? And uh, let's go a couple more minutes and we increase also the suppleness by flexing him a little bit. Yeah? And I like you to be in charge of your half horse. I don't wait for me to say, look, now it's heavy. Uh, change things. Yeah? Much better. Good. Sending forward. Good. And keep riding with your, with your half horse. Don't wait for me to tell you when he's too heavy. Okay? So, better. Yeah, exactly. And now go down, down the long side. <clears throat> and you will probably see this today quite a bit. Yeah, I like to use lots of suppling exercises. I like to go down the long side with a little counter flexion. And at this time, I'd like to see that our horse is a little bit more supple. Make it more obvious. We did not see that you were flexing him outside. Yeah? <clears throat> Let's see on the long side again, a little bit more counter flexion. And then create again this reason to to let go of the rein, counterflexion to the outside. So let go of the right rein. Good. And now circle left, left flexion. And move him away from your left leg a little bit. Let's see a little release on the inner rein. Give the inner rein a moment. So, yeah, exactly. And now send him forward again. Nicely uphill. Don't wait for me to tell you that he is too low. Yeah? Take, take charge. That's it. So, and now a little softer hand afterwards. Good. Okay, and forward again. Lots of tempo changes in trot. Yeah? The collection in the trot will not happen from just cruising around in the same tempo. This is the same exact scenario later on in a passage. If we just practice the passage without riding a forward passage or a really collected passage, the passage will not get better. Yeah? But I like that, you, that you're a little bit more creative now. Yeah? You, you use a little bit of flexion in between, you use some tempo changes, you gymnasticize your horse, you give him reasons to release. Yeah? Good. And walk a second again. And to me, there's a very simple rule. When, when we see that the horse is sometimes a little too heavily connected, like we saw in the beginning with Barber's horse, the judges, rightfully so, will not blame the horse pulling on the rider. It's going to be the other way around, that the rider is pulling on the horse. So why should we accept this? Let's ride our horses in, in true self-carriage. Only when the horse is truly uh, in, in a soft way connected, in a subtle way connected, only then we can ask for, for, for the expression that we want later on in the test. It is so easy to say, now more forward, now a little bit more expression, now a bigger extension. If the contact is very heavy and the horse is not carrying himself, the expression, we always will take a huge chance when you ride with more expression. When a horse is truly through, supple, carrying himself, the expression is not a problem. Yeah? Okay? Very good. Okay. <clears throat>